Luminar Neo's Big Fall Upgrade is almost here. So in today's exclusive video, I'm going to show you a preview of all the new features and tools. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. About 10 days ago, I received access to the beta version of the Big Fall Upgrade. It's been lots of fun. I spent lots of time inside the application. And today I want to show you all the new features and tools. But before we do that, quick information and probably important information, the release, the public release of the Big Fall upgrade is still scheduled for the beginning of November. Now, at the time of recording of this class or video, I don't know the exact date, but I'm assuming that in two, three weeks, it will be on all of our computers. Now, in the meantime, let's do the preview of all the new tools, starting with the sync between Luminar Mobile and Luminar Neo. So how is it going to work? Well, ultimately, it's as simple as having the same account for your Luminar Mobile and Luminar Neo. I mean, same email. Once you do that, you sync the two together and then it's really straightforward. You take an image with your mobile phone, you take a photo, then you edit it on Luminar Mobile, use all the different tools. And when you finish, just come back to gallery on your mobile phone. And by doing that, it will automatically be uploaded the photo as well as the edit to the cloud and ready to be synced with your Luminar Neo. Once you do that, it's time to move into Luminar Neo on your desktop. Here we are in the catalog module where we're going to be focusing on our shortcuts. Well, you know, we have the all photos, sample images, and now we have Luminar mobile folder. So when we click on that, that will preview the images on your mobile device in your Luminar mobile. Now I have two photos there, this little pumpkin and Chichester Cathedral. I have photographed a few days ago. Now it's important to know that the image will not be automatically imported into your Luminar Neo. You need to do that. And that's a good thing because we don't want to clutter our computer. Now how to do that? You just select the images you want to import. In my case, it's the one photo and click on import photo just on the top. Once you do that, well, it will import the image into your computer. Where are you going to find it? Well, it's really simple. You will go into the folders where you will notice a new folder called Space Imports. <laughs> Let's click on that. Now we have the pumpkin, but we also have the photo we have just imported. From here, you can take the photo and move it into the edit module. Now I told you it imports the image as well as the edits. And to continue with the edit, well, you can go into the edit tab, the main editing toolbar. And here are all the adjustments from your Luminar mobile. You can go through them and you can, of course, adjust them further. Or you can just discard them and continue with the tools in the application. So it's really simple. Make sure that you have the same account between your Luminar mobile. And then it's really smooth and straightforward experience. Now it's time to talk about the new web galleries or in Luminar Neo's language, spaces. So how does it all work? Well, let's go into Luminar Neo where I'm in a folder with number of images from Chichester Cathedral. Now the Chichester Cathedral asked me to share them with them so they can see and maybe buy some of them. Now, in past, I would have to export the images into JPEG format, upload them into Dropbox, then share the link, and it's really complicated. Now, this task is now much easier. So I have a number of photos here, right? Uh, eight pictures, if I'm right. Now, how to add them into this space or web gallery? Again, we are in the application, we are in the catalog module, and we need to select all the photos. Now we can do that using simple command or control A. And once we have them all selected, we can right click on any of them. And there is a new option called publish to space. <laughs> now, once we hover over it, we have an option of new space, or if we already have one of the spaces or galleries, it will be here. And this way we can add them into already existing gallery. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on new space. <laughs> now with that a new window open and here we can select the name of the gallery. So let's go for that. 
<laughs> and let's call it Chichester Cathedral. Once happy with the name, it's really as simple as clicking on publish. Now, just like magic, the application will export the photos and then start to upload them on your own web gallery. Now, the uploading is still happening. However, we already have the link. The link is on the top. It's usually space.skylum.com and then link there. But actually, it's really easy. You can invite from here. You can share it. You can share it by using the share button or even better, you can click on open. And once you do that, you will be able to preview your space. So let's do that. Just like that, we have appeared on the space, your own web gallery. Now the images are already here and this is how it looks. Luminar Neo logo, number of photos, the name of the web gallery or space, also your name, Jacob Bors, and then the images here. Now again, you can share the web gallery from here by clicking on share. You can copy the link or you can share it on Twitter or Facebook. And most importantly, you can look at the photos. So how does it work? Well, you can see the preview, the thumbnails, and when you click on any of the images, it will show you the full photo. Now you can, but you don't have to show the info about the image. So you can see the information about how you capture it as well as some additional information. And you can then come back or you can keep using your keys or arrows on your keyboard and move between the images. So this is how the client review your photos. Now back to the main view from here. Once you log in with your Skylum account, you can also go to the bottom right corner, click on edit. And from here, you can add more photos without the need of Luminar Neo. You can just upload them here and you can adjust some settings. Again, you can copy the link of the web gallery. You can switch on or off the possibility to download the images for your clients and you can hide or show the metadata. Once finished, just click on X, close this, and it's all ready to be shared. Finally, in Luminar Neo, still in the catalog module, here on the side, on the left side of your screen, under the albums as well as folders, you will notice a new area called Spaces. From here, you can preview your gallery. So just click on it and preview it. And again, you can add new images inside of the space by simply, for example, if I just drag one, you can drag and drop it on the actual space and it will upload automatically. Now let's leave the cloud and sync behind and let's move on to some new features and tools. In this case, we're gonna be looking at the new light depth tool. Now, what are we going to do? Well, we are in the editing module. We have a sample file here and we're going to go into the main editing toolbar here. Let's go into the creative section where on the top. No, it's not called volume. It's called light depth. <laughs> How does it work? Well, it's amazing. It's like Relight AI 2.0. So let's open it. Let's open the tool and let's see what we have here. Going through it, well, starting from the top, like many tools in Luminar Neo, we start with simple amount slider. So let's increase it. What it's gonna do, it's going to scan the image and create a 3D mask. So we already have it here. You can see the preview. How cool is that? Now, we have some additional options here. And ultimately, you are controlling three things. Foreground, middle ground and background. And the middle ground, the light in the middle ground is controlled with the mask here. But Let's start from the beginning, go into the advanced setting where we have the brightness near and brightness far. You already know that one. You've been using it in the Relight AI. How it works? Well, brightness near, you can just brighten the foreground or darken it. And similarly, for the brightness far, the background, you can make it darker or brighter. Works, right? So let's go for that. Uh, by default, it's on minus 50. Again, like in Relight AI, we can make the foreground or the background warmer. So let's do that. Let's warm up the foreground or you can make it cooler and make it cooler by bringing the slider down. After this, now it's time to look at the fancy bit and that's our 3D mask. Once you hover over, you will see a controller where you can go up and down. So let's see if we go up, we're going to move the light. Keep an eye on the image. We're going to move it towards the back and when you move it, forward closer to you, you will move it closer to you. You can see how the light moves through the scene. 
I think it's incredible. Now, not only that, you can also adjust the width of the light. Now, how to do that? Well, you just use these little sliders so you can make the light very specific, so very narrow or very wide, just like this. It is up to you. And I think this is absolutely amazing. Already the 3D mask is amazing. And the fact that you can move it between is absolutely epic. So let's add the light somewhere around here. Additionally, you have an option to add some softness, which I think works really well as well. And again, you can, of course, control the warmth of the area by adding a little bit of warmth, which I think works very well, or yeah, making it a little bit cooler. It really depends on the scene. Well, of course, when you finish using this specific tool, you can still adjust the amount using the amount slider. And on top of it, just like most of the tools in Luminar Neo, you can use the masking and all the available tools here to adjust the areas of the tool and of the enhancement. And it's time to talk about the second new tool, which is the restoration tool. Now we should play some kind of drum rolls because this feature has been highly requested since I've been with Skylum and Luminar Neo. Okay, so how it works? Well, we are in the catalog module where we are focusing on the right side, looking at the enhancement tool section. Here we have the restoration tool, so just click on it and open it. Now the use of the tool is really straightforward, just like with all the tools in Luminar Neo. You just take your photo, you drag and drop it on the tool, you make simple selection, so we can choose between remove just the scratches, add color, or do both of it at the same time. Now with that, let's go for the full thing. We're gonna select the full and simply click on restore. Now the application will start the restoring and coloring process. Now, depending on your computer and on your image, this may take between 30 to I would say about 90 seconds. Once it's finished, it's gonna be placed into a new folder called restoration. And just like magic, it appears there. How about that? Now, from here, of course, we can move it into the edit module where we can continue the edit. However, I think it looks really cool. We have the face, we have the clothes, we have the foreground, we have the sky. I think it looks really great. Now, this is a beta version, so I think there will be still more work done to this tool, and I hope to see even more improvements on how the results look. However, the starting point is great. Now, talking about photo restoration, the editing, the restoration, is only a small part of the whole process. The process starts with preparing your photos, scanning them, preparing them for the edit, and then editing them. And of course, exporting them and maybe even printing them again. And to help you with this process, we have created a brand new masterclass, Restoration Masterclass. With 15 lessons, I go through the full process, preparing your images, scanning them, editing them, fixing them and getting them ready to give them a second life. Now you can find out more about this masterclass if you follow the link in the description of this video. And if you buy it in a pre-sale, before the full upgrade will be released, you can get it for a special price of $49 together with two incredible preset packs for black and white and color restoration to help you with the initial edit. So one more time, the restoration class, you can find out more about it by following the link in the description of this video. Now to finish the video, we have to talk about how you can get Luminar Neo and how you can get all this amazing upgrades. Now, starting from the beginning, if you are a subscriber, current subscriber, you will automatically get access to all these features. After that, if you are current owner of the lifetime license, then you have a two options. You can get the simple upgrade pass for about $49 and that way you will get all the new tools except the cloud part. You will not get the sync between the Luminar Mobile and Luminar Neo on the desktop, and you will not get the web galleries. Or you can buy the ecosystem upgrade pass, which will give you access to everything, including these cloud online features. Now, the best way to find out which of these are for you and what are the offers is to follow the link in the description of this video where on the top of it, you can also use our discount code to get an additional 10% discount. 
Finally, for new users, if you ever thought about getting Luminar Neo, now it's the time. You have a three options to buy Luminar Neo. You can get the desktop version for about $99. You can get the full license, which will give you Luminar Neo, Luminar Mobile, or the online tools for about $120, $130. Or you can get the max license, which will give you everything. Luminar Neo, Luminar Mobile, the cloud features. And on top of it, you will get access to the creative cloud or creative library with thousands of assets, including presets, courses, overlays, LUTs, and so much more. So regardless which user you are, Luminar Neo is just getting better and better. So make sure that you get ready for this incredible brand new Luminar Neo's big fall upgrade.